So today I'd like to show you something called component. You guys have been doing a lot of things lately, but you guys uh, have no idea what is component. So what is component? So uh, let, let's make one example of what component is, okay? Let's say I am going to make a cube. So I'm gonna use the orbit tool to orbit it and make a cube. I'm going to use a uh, measurement. So I'm gonna make, uh, let's say, 90 by 90, right? So I, while I'm doing uh, this drawing process, I'm gonna type 90 comma 90. So it's gonna make me 90 by 90. If you guys look at the right bottom corner of your screen, right after, after that uh, doggy Kevin, you see it says 90 comma 90, right on it. It says dimensions, it's here. So that's what I typed. When you press on enter, it's gonna make you 90 by 90. The reason, you're gonna ask me why 99, why 90? You're gonna find out in a bit. Now I'm gonna pull it up again, 90. So it's gonna be what kind of shape? 90, 90, and 90. What do we call it in geometry? All shapes, all sides are equal. What do we call it? Anybody? Okay. Okay. So, so now since I made 90 by 90, I'm gonna use a push pull to pull it up and turn it into a cube. And again, I'm gonna assign 90. So just 90. And you see, this is my cube, right? Now I want to make it a Rubik's cube. So how many pieces has a Rubik's cube? How many rows, how many columns? So let's do the measurement tape. So look, I'm gonna do 30. And again, 30, are you guys following? And also make another uh, measurement from down to the side, 30. 30, so why do I make this? Why did I make this? Because uh, Rubik's Cube have nine pieces on each space, space, right? So I'm gonna add lines now, adding lines, one line across the um, uh, this dashed lines. And I'm going to color them. And it is going to look like a Rubik's Cube's uh, front face. No, you're not supposed to. I'm just showing an example of a component. So here, I'm going to color it now. OK, I'm going to choose red color. I'm going to choose uh, yellow color, green, keep two of them white, one blue, and then two black colors like this. And also missing one more color, right? No, there's no purple in the Rubik's Cube. Okay, let it be so. So, Rubik's Cube. Okay, now I want to save this. I want to reuse this thing later. So, what do I do? If you want to reuse this cube, you're going to select this whole cube, right? And then make a right click on your mouse. And then you see it says make component. Have you guys wondered why we make components? Components, it's when you are uh, gluing all pieces together into one single piece. Here, I'm gonna make a component. I'm gonna name it cube, okay? Cube two, I have cube already. So, good thing about this, let's delete this. It's gone, right? Do you see any cubes now? What if I wanna reuse it again? If you guys wanna reuse it again, on the right side menu, you see it says uh, components. Can you guys see it? Right here, click components. If you guys go to components, you are going to find the same item that you made earlier, you see? You see that cube? Here, and then you can reuse it again. Does it make sense? But how long it's gonna be there? Until you delete it from component. But it is in component, it's like your library. It's like, like, uh, like your closet, you're making stuff, you're putting it away. When you need it, you just go to components and pull it out. So the staircase we're gonna make today, you're gonna first make the uh, whole staircase, make it into a component, understood? One more thing before we proceed. Let's say I wanna make changes to my component. I made a mistake. How do I edit? How do I change my component? If you guys wanna make a change your component, you're gonna use option called explode. Explode means put things uh, into pieces, back, back into the pieces. So they are glued to each other, right? There's a component. I, I need to unglue it. How do I unglue it? 
you guys you make a right click on the same object you're going to find something called explode when you click on explode it is no longer a component so you make your changes let's say i want to uh just color a few colors different color for example i'm going to make this into this color oops okay let's say i want to make this into different color and there you go you can do that and if you want to make it back to component you again select this whole thing make a right click and make it a component again let's make let's name it cube uh three this time if you guys do that if you check the components you will find that you still have all those pieces look i'm going to open the component here you see cube one cube two and then cube three the one i uh, made a change but if you want to override it you could have maybe named it the same but the point here is whatever you make into a component it is saved on the component section does it make sense any questions now what we're going to do today i attached um, images of the school staircase here from different angles so you will try to make that uh, staircase okay it's a staircase with one side is a ramp as you can see the other side is a stair you see one two three it's two the three steps and you also have these bars so you're going to make all of those put them together into a component and then save it and then you're going to reuse it when we make the school does it make sense okay let me share it again so after we check the images on here you see it has a ramp it has stairs and then it has a rectangle yes that's the reason i was taking pictures so i'm going to make it like let's see if, uh, how fast i can make it so i'm going to start with a rectangle guys it is not not that difficult trust me here look so this is my uh, uh ramp okay i'm going to add a line here so this is the end of the ramp and then here i'm going to make the stairs so look i'm just adding lines how many stairs did it have three one two and three okay here here's my ramp let's turn this two three you see i made the stairs already that's one uh, let's put it a little bit up so good thing about component you can resize the shape later okay now how do we make a ramp how do we make a ramp? Any ideas? Can anybody give me any? Yes. Uh, I think we don't need scale. Do you know what we need? Line tool. You just add a line from here to here. One, from here to here, two. There's your ramp. So was it difficult? No. Okay. Now, you can delete this line. You see this line here? You don't need it anymore. And then you don't need this line as well. And you don't need this line as well. You do the same thing in the other side of the shape. You're going to erase this line, this line, and this line. Oops. Okay, let's zoom in. This line. So there's your uh, stair, uh, stair with a ramp and then stair. Now, what do, we, uh, what do we need to add more? We need to add this bars, right? Okay, how do we add bars? If you want to add a bar, just let's see how many bars we have over there. Let's count it. Um, so let's get to the picture, which, uh, okay, so look. One in here, one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? S uh, seven total. And then in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven in this side, seven on the other side. So what shape are the bars? They're like a uh, cylindrical, right? Okay, do you guys remember we made uh, this uh, tricks with a circle? Let's get the circle. Let's make one bar here. Okay, I'm going to make copies of it. Do you guys remember how to make a copy? Select the circle, right? Um, switch to move tool. 
press and copy, control makes a copy. Remember that? And then you do this and X five there. You didn't fill the whole thing. Here's the trick, guys. Instead of doing that, this is what we're going to do. Again, select the circle, switch to move tool, press on control, right? And then move the circle all the way here. Then, you know what you're going to do? You're not going to do X7. Instead of X7, you're going to do divided 7. Enter, and then it's going to make things for you in between. So instead of X7, you just do this again. Look, I'm going to repeat this process again. Select the circle, switch to move tool by pressing on letter M, press on control, move that copy here, and then you're going to do divided seven. Look at the right bottom corner of my script. It says divided seven. Meaning, I'm going to create seven copies between those two uh, objects. Enter. There we go. Yes. I mean, uh, what 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 different uh, like staircase? I mean, as long as it looks like our uh, staircase, I don't mind, guys. Just try to make it a. Uh... Okay, guys. Now, what do we do next? We we're gonna add. Uh, so we're gonna raise them up. Okay, like this. One. Two. Three. Four, five. I think my bars are too thick, right? Make them smaller, guys. My bars are too thick. Looks like a cage. All right, here. Okay, and now we're gonna make one, uh, one bar in here. Uh, circle. It, there was one um, bar on the bottom here, right? Let's see. Yes, on that stair. Let's go to the bar here. Okay, and then raise it up too. There we go. All right. Now what else we need to add? We need to add uh, like uh, horizontal lines like this. One, two, three, three of them. So how do we do that? Yeah, All right, I just made it. Uh, I recorded a session. You can uh, just, okay. Now let's add the sidebars. I'm gonna try to uh, use this method. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Yeah, it worked. You can do something like this. Yeah. Uh, I cannot help you right now because I'm uh, recording it. Just give me one time, uh, a few minutes. Okay. Now, uh, let's continue adding this. All right, there we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just do your best. Let's add another line here. Feel like someone is playing a game. Is someone playing a game? Here. Okay. Now, guys, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Do your best. Let's let's assume you're done with this case, uh, staircase. Okay. Let's say you assume as you're done, which you're not done yet. Uh, as I explained it earlier, you're gonna select this whole thing like this, and then you're gonna make it into a component and name it MSA2 staircase. Okay? So that's what you have. Now, let's say in the future you're going to make a building. Let's say it's gone. 
you want to reuse it again, where are you going to check it again? In the components. If you check on the components, you're going to find that MSA2 case, staircase. You guys see it? You just click on it and then add it here. So that's the reason we're making it into components. Okay? 